So I want to tell you about a tip that I really, really love. And it's a really simple one. It's just drawing a line on your golf ball. So it's fantastic for when you're putting to help you line up. It's almost like cheating because where else on or directly on the ball can you draw a mark that will help you to line up. So I really love this tip and it's so simple and easy to do. And I'll show you just how to use it. So the line on the ball is perfect for the short putts because really they're the ones where you want to get the line right. You can still use it on your long putts, but they tend to be more for distance control. So with your short putts, you want to take your line and you want to come around behind and get yourself directly in line with uh, the ball and the target. And you want to make sure that your ball is heading where you want to go. So if you're allowing for some break, aim it a little bit left or right, depending on your break. And the key here is that once you've set the ball, uh, the line up where you want to go, trust the line. Pop your club down behind, use the lines on your putter as extensions of that line, and then literally just use that as a guide straight back and straight through. So the key is to trust the line. Sometimes we look down at the line and we think, oh, I'm not sure if it's right, but you really want to trust it because when you come around behind, your eyes are level, that's when you're going to get the line straight. Then when you come around on top of the putt, that's when you won't be quite sure if it's right or not because your eyes aren't level anymore. So make sure you trust the line on the ball. So the topic for today was, should you or should you not put the line on the ball when you're putting? See the lines here? Some yep. players have a line all the way around. All the way around, yeah. And I'm a massive advocate for the line on the ball and D is not so much. So. Dee, why don't you like the line on the ball? I'm only talking for personal reasons why I don't like the ball, the line on the ball, because some people are linear, and if you're a linear person, you like the line. And most people are linear. Some people are non-linear. That's me. What does that mean? A bit, bit creative and a bit... bit creative. You know, <laughs> so so well, you'd feel too constricted by that line, or you'd feel put well, off by no, that what line? What would happen is, if I put the line down, and I wanted to aim at the hole, and I'd be back there lining it up, and yeah. I'd be sure it was fine... Yeah. And then I'd get over the ball and I would go, and I was an extremely good putter, i go, oh my God, oh my God, it's wrong, it's wrong, yeah. I don't feel I've comfortable. heard that a lot actually, uh, I've heard that a lot. So, yeah. what I, I, I tried that for about mm, the first six months on tour, mm -hmm. and then I gave up on it, mm. and my putting, in, for me, my putting improved, Yeah. but for most people I think the line is really good, so mm. I just have... A blank space. Yeah, I line yeah. my putter. Yeah, and I go. I'm very. And much I a think field there person. is a percentage of people that it doesn't work for, but I think there's a greater percentage of people that it does work for. I agree. Because it's kind of like cheating. It's the only place where you can actually draw a guide Absolutely. on the ball to show you and come around behind. Obviously, you've got to come around behind. Don't whatever you do, put it down like this yep. and look like this because your eyes are on an angle and you won't be able to tell if it's yep. straight or not. So you have to come around behind. Eyes have to be level and you have to put the line down that way. And to me, it's just kind of like cheating that they, they even let you do it because yep. it's the, you're putting a guide right there yep. that tells you where to That's aim. That's they haven't stopped it really. Yeah. Um, I it think is. it's because, uh, you know, I think it's, it's really great for a higher handicapper as well. Yeah, yeah. But I think the most important thing... But some of the thing, pros use it. Uh, the pros use it a lot. Yeah. <clears throat> I would say probably 70% of pros use it. Yeah. So yeah. I think it's really important, though, um, not to take forever getting the line. Yeah, true, you know, I gotta, true. Yeah. You can oh, get into oh, a good oh, routine, though, yeah, can't you, absolutely. where you're fairly quick. But just to address what you said about how you go to all the trouble, you put it down, you come around, and you go, oh... That doesn't look right, and I hear that an awful lot. Yeah. That's actually not in your case because you're a good putter, but the average golfer, if you do that, if you come around and you go, oh, that doesn't look right, that's a sign that you're out of whack and you're not lining it up correctly, and that's why the line is so helpful. Yeah. Always trust the line because if you've put it down with your eyes level behind, there's a 99% chance that it's more correct than it is when you come around here when your eyes are not level. So I would always trust the line if you can. Some people find that too off-putting, yep. and that's fine. I think it just depends, but I think yeah. it's a huge advantage to have it, especially if you're a linear person, and most people are. Yeah, and look, work. use what works for you, yep, but exactly. if you've never tried the line before, definitely give it a go. Mm. Particularly great for short putts. You wouldn't really worry about it much on the longer putts. You can do it out of habit because, you know, that's, that's a what habit it's a good habit, yeah. but you'll find it much more helpful yep. on the short putts and hold, you'll hold more short putts if you line up of, correctly. there's some tools out there that help you line up as well. Isn't yeah, there? So there is. There there's a, there's a thing called a line up 
and yep. it actually is a marker that extends the line out oh, to wow. make a really long visual. Is that the one you were telling me about that you saw in the expo? Yes, at the PGA oh, show, brand new week. product. So wow. it extends the line on the board down onto the ground so you've got a fantastic visual of where to line up. So yeah, that's a, so I'll put a link that. to that. It might work for you, Dee. I might get it at cost. <laughs> <laughs> might do your deal. <laughs> do me a deal. I've right. got a deal for you. <laughs> so this has been Disagree with D, uh, but I don't think we are anymore. No, we're not disagreeing. <laughs> Bye for now from Pro Golf Gal. Bye for now. Bye. Look forward to seeing you soon. Hey, you know, I was thinking we should have like a, we should have a catchphrase. We should. You know what we should have? This is what I reckon we should have. Commit to every shot. Yes, I like that. We should have commit to every shot. So at the end of each thing we go, bye for now. Don't forget to commit to every shot. What do you think? Yeah, I like it. We this should say, should we say it at the same time? And, yes. And don't forget, commit don't to forget. every shot. Commit to every Can shot. Can we say it at the same time successfully? Oh, yeah. So let's do it. Bye for now from Pro Golf Gals. I'll put this on at the end and cut yeah. the other one off. Yeah, okay. Right. Are we okay. ready? <laughs> what are we saying? <laughs> bye. <laughs> bye from Pro Golf Gals. And don't forget... Just, commit to every shot. Just shows we're not really, we're just natural. Okay, here we go. It's so natural. <laughs> this is going to be interesting. Okay, here okay. we go. All right, so bye from Pro Golf Gals and bye. don't forget. <laughs> <laughs> why don't you say, why don't you say bye for now and then I'll say Good bye one. for now. Okay. Or I'll say bye for now and you can say don't forget to commit to. Bye for now, don't forget to commit. Yeah, you say, I'll bye, say bye, bye for now, now. Pro Golf Gals <laughs> and I say don't forget get to commit to, to every shot. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> okay. So bye for now from Pro Golf Gals. And don't forget, <coughs> commit to every shot. We need to do that again because I've got. <coughs> I got. <coughs> <coughs> so start again. Okay. So bye for now from Pro Golf Gals. And don't forget, commit to every shot.